One of the most common questions we get is, how do I measure my car for seatbelts? Correctly measuring your seatbelts is very important. As a safety item, once a seatbelt has been installed, it cannot be returned. Different vehicles and seat styles may require different methods, but today we're going to show you how to measure the seatbelts in a common classic car that has a front sliding bench seat and a fixed rear bench seat. The owner of the car is not happy with the current routing of the seat belts and finds that the front belts can be a bit too short for them, especially when the seat is slid forward. We start measuring by sitting in the seat with it slid to the position that is most comfortable for the driver of the car. Then measure from the outside mounting point for the seat belt, following the path that you want the belt to follow, up to the middle of your waist. In our case, we come up with 27 inches. Then do the same for the opposite side of your waist. In this car, it is quite difficult to get a measuring tape between the seat back and bottom. So we measure from the seam where the tape stops in the seat in between the bottom and the back up to the middle of our waist. Here we come up with 21 inches. Then we measure from that split on the seat on the back side down to the inside mounting point for the seat belt. We measure 8 inches and adding the three measurements together, we come up with 56 inches. To ensure we have enough length for other drivers or occupants, follow the same steps for other family members that might drive or ride in the car, making sure to slide the seat forward or backwards as necessary to accommodate them comfortably. With the other occupants measured and determining that we will need a belt that will adjust from 52 inches to 56 inches, we know that a 60 inch belt will fit all of our drivers and passengers. To measure the rear seat belts, it may be necessary to pull up the seat bottom to find the mounting points for the rear seat belts. Measure from each mounting point up to the seat edge, then reinstall the seat bottom and measure from the seat edge on either side to the other around the passenger's waist. Again, measure around all the expected occupants to ensure that the belt will fit all anticipated passengers. In our case, we've again determined that a 60 inch belt will fit all of our passengers. A few minutes later, we've unbolted the old seat belts and installed our new seat belts, rerouting the outer seat belts on the front seats to the customer's preference. We hope that this video has helped you at home, and please feel free to give us a call with any questions regarding your vehicle's seatbelt needs.